up welcome back to my channel and welcome to another IT or tech video so for today's video I will be giving some tips and advice for those who are looking for an entry-level IT support specialist role or position I got this request from a comment from my other video and he is asking for advice for those who are IT fresh graduate seeking for an IT support specialist position. So first of all, thank you so much for the comment and congratulations for graduating and I wish you all the best and luck with your job search. I hope you learned something from this video. So if you guys are interested in this topic, please keep on watching and let's get started with the video. Okay, so before I dive into the tips and advice, let us look into the job description of being an IT support specialist first. So I looked all over the internet and I found this best job description from betterteam.com and according to them, IT support specialists provide organizations with information technology support to optimize operational efficiency. Their duties include resolving technical issues, maintaining hardware and software installations, and improving IT systems. I know it's very tough for those fresh graduates to apply for a job because you don't have a lot of hands-on experiences yet and at the time, you're still trying to figure out what to do and what path to take for your careers. So I think this IT support entry-level job will be the best place to start if you wanted to be a part of the tech industry but still not sure what to do or trying to figure out what would be the best option for you especially if you are really not interested into coding and programming. I think that this job is the best place to start if you want to get your foot in the tech industry because this job exposes you to all the different teams, the different departments in the company because they always come to IT to request for access for their issues. So you will see the current technology that they are using, the projects that they are working on, and this will give you an idea on what you could be interested in doing or working on later on in your career. Okay, let's now move on to the tips and advice. So the very first advice that I could give you is work on your skills, especially the technical skills. So if you chose to work in a tech industry, you gotta have to be technical. Because people rely on IT most of the time to resolve their issues and to make their jobs and lives easier through technology. So you have to be, you have to possess technical skills. So I know the next question would be, what skills do I need to have to apply for this position? So at this point, you have to do a lot of research on the companies and the employers that you are interested in applying for and just look at the job qualifications and the requirements. I think all the companies are looking for someone with strong troubleshooting skills, especially us in IT support because people come to us to help them resolve their issues and help them with their problems. So I really advise you to work on your troubleshooting skills and practice your troubleshooting and really understand the concepts and the techniques in troubleshooting such as identifying the issues, eliminating the obvious, developing possible causes and theories, and validating and documenting solutions. I really believe that if you possess strong troubleshooting skills, it would really help you work on whatever technology is that you will be using, whether you decided to be a network, system, software, engineer, a product project manager someday, I think this is a fundamental skill that everyone should have, especially if you're working in tech, and it will really help you go a long way. So if you are planning to get a certification to help you apply for this job, I would say go for it because it will show the employers that you are willing to learn and willing to improve even if you don't have a lot of hands-on experiences yet. So the certifications you can take for these job positions are CompTIA A+, or Network+. Plus. These are entry-level certifications that will help you gain more knowledge and more skills for this role, and it will help you land a job as well. So my next tip is build a strong resume. Resume is the first impression when you are applying for a job, so make sure it is organized, brief yet concise, and it emphasizes all of the skills that you have and all of the experiences, work experiences that you have. It doesn't have to be long and it doesn't have to have a lot of stuff in it as long as you include all the skills that are listed in the qualifications of the job posting for the company that you are applying for. 
Next tip is to network. This is just building connections with people, especially the people in this industry. So go get yourself out there and meet new people, talk to them, ask them questions. You'll never know, you might meet someone who knows of a job opening or knows someone that is looking for an applicant. This is really easy to do these days because we have the technology now, we have a lot of social media and websites available to do all this networking so you can join groups organizations and the most popular professional networking right now is linkedin if you are not familiar of linkedin this is like an online resume where you can post all of your skills your work experiences and you can also connect with different people in different fields and industries and you can also post a lot of uh, prof professional related stuff in this website the last tip I could probably give you is just to practice, practice, and practice. Because they say practice makes perfect. So if you are still applying, looking for a job, you can also practice on your own while doing all the job search. If you have a laptop or a desktop PC or whatever it is that you have, you can play with it. You can probably try to uh, break it down to pieces, put it back together again, practice some troubleshooting, um, do some tutorials online. There's a lot on YouTube that shows you how to fix stuff, especially in Windows or MacBooks. If you haven't tried the technology before, this is the best time to try it out and learn a new skill. So just make sure that you keep on practicing, you keep on learning, you keep on doing hands-on stuff and especially projects if you don't have any, a lot of experience. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you learned something from the tips that I gave you. I know there's so much more out there, but this is from my personal experience. And I am really wishing you all the best and good luck with your job search. Just remember to work on your skills. Just practice, learn, improve, be confident. And I know you can do it. I know you can land a job in IT support hopefully soon. So... If you have any questions, just feel free to comment it down below in the comment section. And I hope to see you guys in my next videos. And thank you so much for watching.